What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Naughty Pine Life. Hope you're all doing well out there. In this episode I'm going to be showing you how to remove and then install your intake manifold runner control valve solenoid. The vehicle I'm working on is a 2007 Ford Fusion 2.3 liter with the inline 4 cylinder. Tools you'll be needing for the job your star shaped head for the two bolts of course your new part some dielectric grease of your choice and that's it now what led me to coming to replacing this this particular part was I noticed upon startup that the RPMs would shoot up a lot higher than normal and then they'd slowly come back down typically they would slowly come back down um, so I went ahead and hooked up my scan tool sure enough I got one code and that code was P2004 <clears throat> I looked that code up and it's actually a diagnostic trouble code which indicates that the intake manifold runner control this part here IMRC for short that it's actually stuck in the open position on bank one bank one being cylinder one on this particular vehicle some of the symptoms that you might experience from that code are reduction in engine performance especially at low rpm diminished fuel efficiency and then the symptom that I explained earlier, which is engine surge. When the part's operating correctly, it regulates the intake airflow and it reduces the harmful emissions and the air fuel mixture is, is improved, which obviously increases, increases your fuel economy. Now the job on this vehicle, this Ford Fusion, is actually really easy, so I lucked out. Now this particular vehicle, the 2007 Ford Fusion with the 2.3, actually has two of the IMRCs. And I know I need to replace this one because code P2004 is for bank one. If you follow the wiring harness, it goes right to cylinder one on this vehicle. So let's go ahead and here's the first one. Here's the second one, which I'm assuming is going to be good still. I'll find out for sure after I replace number one, but as I said, it, P2004 indicates bank one. This one supplies bank one. So actually, the first step I should note is disconnect your battery. Always disconnect your battery. You're working with electronics here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull both of these vacuum hoses off first. And we got those out of the way. We're gonna go ahead and remove the uh, two screws here. Set that aside. Come back. Do the same thing on here. Set that aside. Go ahead and disconnect this connector here. Okay, we got that disconnected. So you can see you got your connector and you got your two vacuum hoses. Here's your old part, that's what that looks like. It sits in there like so. Go ahead and set that to the side. Grab our new part. 
grab one of our screws, get that started by hand. Grab our other one, same thing. Grab our tool again, start tightening these up. Come over here, same thing on this one. that nice and hand tight go ahead and hook up our vacuum hoses again and uh, put a little bit of the I always like using the dielectric grease anytime I work on anything electronic I'll actually put it right here in this little Just a little bit of it. It's all you need. A little goes a long way, as they say. You can see I got that in there. Take our connector and voila! There you go. There's your new intake manifold runner control valve solenoid, freshly installed. I'm gonna go ahead and reconnect the battery. Let it run and that code P2004 should disappear. If it doesn't, I'll let you know, but there's absolutely no reason to believe that it won't. As always, thanks for tuning in. We appreciate your support. Take care, and until next time, we'll see you later.